welcome to inspired mathematics classes now we are going to discuss shortcut regarding the limit we are not going to expand it by using traditional method to expand it traditional method four to five steps method there is a shortcut have a look limit n tends to infinity this is the sum so what will be the answer the answer is Zero to one per four dx. Zero to one square dx m is zero to one upon zero to one, and this is. Three by five. That's it. Amazing method. Let's start. How it is possible in shortcut? Because we know. We know. This is limit and approach to infinity, and this is summation. R one two one R one two n okay. This is not infinity. This is n and R power four and this is sigma R one two n R square okay. And in place of here is in square. And we know the formula. For limit to integration is limit one upon n sigma r one to n function of r upon n when n approach to infinity is zero to one integral zero to one f of x dx that is put x in place of r by n. So here, obviously, look, r power four for r by n, r upon n, necessary r upon n whole power four. That is integral zero to one x power four dx because for r power n, r power n plus x in place of putting x in place of r upon n. So For place x r power four upon n power four, that is x power four, and here zero to one r upon n whole square, that is x square, and for balancing n square is necessary. Therefore, n square as it is, and n square for balancing, and in a part for balancing n power four, because r power four. Upon n power four, n power four balancing, and put x in place of r upon n. That is, this is okay. And that is so. This is nothing. This is the shortcut method. In one or two step, you can find. If we apply traditional method, traditional method, this is seven to eight steps easily come up. So students like to shortcut method for finding the sums. So this is very very important for MCQ type exams, John and Trans exams. Okay. Correct option is C. This is the correct option. You see the correct option. Try to solve. Try to solve. Question number one. You have it. Limit 
n tends to infinity to n combination c whole power 1 upon n okay options are 3 options b 2 and option c 1 and option d 4 which is the correct option and question number 2 limit infinity n plus 1 upon n square plus 1 plus n plus 2 upon n square plus 2 square and n plus 3 upon n square plus 3 square n okay so if you are able to solve these questions then comment your answer in your comment box so thank you so much for watching the watching this video till the end and we have we have various kind of videos regarding tricks and techniques of limit and on other topics okay so do watch